Hi there, now we're gonna do lesson 32. I have invented the world I see. Isn't this amazing? Today, we are continuing to develop the theme of cause and effect. You are not the victim of the world you see because you invented it. You invented the world you see. We are doing this. You can give it up as easily as you made it up. You will see it or not see it as you wish. While you wait, well, I'm sorry, let me repeat that. Sentence number five, while you want it, you will see it. When you no longer want it, it will not be there for you to see. It's not that the things that are out there disappear. It's just what you believe about them that disappears and then it changes the things out there. Vibrationally, the things that are not matching love, they will be moved out of your experience. Places that I lived people that I knew, um, careers that I had, those things got moved away. Uh, An ex-husband that uh, lived inside of fear and insecurities, I don't even see him anymore. Even though we say we would stay friends, he doesn't return, he he won't reply to my messages to uh, connect. So it's just moved out of my experience because I want to see love and he's not vibrating at that level with me. So he cannot show up in my experience. Why? Because I want to see love. Paragraph number two. The idea for today, like the preceding ones, applies to your inner and outer worlds, which are actually the same. However, since you see them as different, the practice periods for today will again include two phases, one involving the world you see outside you and the other the world you see in your mind. In today's exercises, try to introduce the thought that both are in your own imagination. Okay? So just, just when you're doing that, I have invented the world I see when you have your eyes closed. I have invented the world I see because it's in my imagination. I have invented that scene of the ocean. I've invented that scene of the mountains. I've invented that scene of my children. I have invented the world I see. I've invented that lamp. I have invented that chair. I have invented that filing cabinet. Yeah, all of it is happening because I'm projecting it. So it's it's happening in my imagination. Paragraph three. Again, we will begin the practice periods for the morning and the evening by repeating the idea for today two or three times while looking around at the world you see as outside yourself. Then close your eyes and look around your inner world. Try to treat them both as equally as possible. Repeat the idea for today unhurriedly as often as you wish. As you watch the images, your imagination presents to your awareness. For the two longer uh, practice periods, three to five minutes are recommended, with not less than three required. More than five can be utilized. If you find these exercises restful, don't strain yourself. To facilitate this, select a time when few distractions are anticipated and when you yourself feel reasonably ready. Paragraph five. These exercises are also to be continued during the day as often as possible. The shorter applications consist of repeating the idea slowly as you either, I'm sorry, uh, of repeating this idea slowly as you survey either your inner world or outer world. It does not matter which one you choose. The idea for today should also be applied immediately to any situation that may distress you. Apply the idea by telling yourself, I have invented the situation as I see it. And again, lesson 32, I have invented the world I see. Isn't this amazing to really get to know how powerful we are? We were created to create. We were created to extend love, but we are blocking the love that we could be extending so we could see God in everything because we've been taught to fear the world. It's so simple. I know it's not easy, but I really commend you for your willingness to do this work. Thank you so much. And I hope you're really truly enjoying these lessons because if you really give them the proper time that they deserve, they are going to help you wake up. And when you wake up, like we just read recently, you will be free. You will totally be free. You will be completely released from the world and then you will become one who through the inspiration that God can flow through you, you will be able to express that and help create a brighter world for the rest of us. So again, thank you for doing this work. I love you, my magnificent friend. I'll see you in the next lesson.